Hello, Sad Gang. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. My name is Nati. So I will be out there right to y'all energy, Sad Gang. I want you all to take what fits, leave what does not. If anything does resonate with you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Swap rules is needed. Also, Sad Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything y'all do to help the channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. Okay, Sad. So, I'm going to do one more shuffle here. We're going to hop into the energy for you. All right. What's the energy for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so someone is having an awakening here. Okay, this is you, Sag. Someone is having an awakening here. Let's see, what's the energy for Sagittarius? And you're becoming guarded. I feel like you're 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 breaking yourself out of a place of depression or sadness, hurt or pain. Okay, I do feel like it's something that you will always remember. So this place that you're um, bringing yourself from, this dark place, this depression or sadness. I feel like you're kind of vulnerable still, but you are guarded. There's some sort of vow that you're making here. What's the energy? Yeah, so you're you're undergoing some sort of rebirth, okay? So maybe you were like sad, crying all the time, um, just depressed, okay? Didn't want to get up, didn't want to do anything, possibly didn't want to tend to the kids. Maybe all you wanted to do was be in the dark or sleep all day or something like that. Um, but you're undergoing some sort of rebirth. So I feel like you're bringing yourself out of some sort of dark, sunken, emotional place. Um, you're still emotional, but um, you're not crying anymore. Okay. Or maybe you're not crying as much as you used to. Okay. What's the energy for Sagittarius? Okay. Yeah. You were suffering. You were in pain in the past. Or it was like you was in pain because you was remembering how you were done by somebody here. Okay, but you're healing now. Okay, you could have had a child. Maybe you felt alone when you were pregnant. Um, maybe you just feel alone in general here. And you're healing possibly from a pregnancy or you're healing your inner child wounds. Some of you all had a just had a little baby boy here. Okay, so it's something you're doing. You're trusting something within divine timing. Now, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that is praying uh, for your forgiveness or wants to hand you some sort of apology. This person wants to be open to something here. This person wants to be open to um, you listening to them, listening to their apology or something like that okay so this could be a gemini libra aquarius a leo sagittarius aries okay so someone um someone is also doing some healing here someone is working on their shadow side someone is going through the dark night of the soul someone is also remembering something here okay um someone is taking off a mask here and they're realizing that they were living in a facade they're taking off this mask. They're looking at themselves. They're looking at the things that they believed in was right, which was possibly wrong sometimes, okay? Um, this person is also undergoing an awakening. This person is receiving some sort of messages. So that way you guys can come into union here, okay? So that way you guys can rebirth the connection, okay? So this person is seeing the truth. They're not saying much, but they are seeing the truth. They're saying that they've been wearing a mask. Now, it could be something going on with this person's skin. So, this person can have like a skin issue or something where they hide it when it comes to their appearance or something here. Okay. So, somebody is wanting some sort of breakthrough with you here. They've been praying. Um, they're having some sort of epiphany now. Now that they're getting some sort of messages or listening to getting some sort of awakening like you. Because you could have already gotten some sort of awakening or you could you could be like in your healing phase right this person is just now seeing like hey it's something about me i need to change it's some, um, it's time for me to work on my shadow side so they start to see like oh this is the person that i really am i'm a horrible person or something here okay so they're starting to see something okay so um they're they're becoming emotional here 
okay um i feel like this person wants to they're saying something about a harvest here or they're getting messages about a harvest um they're saying something about nurturing the connection or being compassionate here maybe this was not a compassionate person maybe this was like a man that just had no feminine energy okay they were not soft uh they, they could have left the connection feeling like very strained or cold or like they just let you heal or something on your own or let you remain guarded and now they're seeing something here okay all right let's get the energy for sagittarius please Ooh, okay what's this so this person made, yeah oh somebody is depressed i feel like this person is going through what you was going through like all the depression like you rose out of a dark place okay um and this person is in that dark place this person could be a bit suicidal so i would just watch out for that person okay um especially if you're not giving to the connection or showing that you care anymore because maybe you could be showing like you healing like you not tending to the connection like they didn't right you're guarded now when it comes to that and this person is depressed and sad about that they're thinking here but it's something that they're not learning here okay um maybe self-love they need to learn self-love or something they need to learn themselves they need to learn how to heal um also it's something to where some of these people they could be feeling like they don't owe you an apology okay some of these people just praying or some of these people haven't really apologized to you the way that they should have apologized okay so it's something here that's a mystery um some of these people could be doing magic on the connection trying to win you over okay it's trying to win over your love or your compassion or something okay but that's not a good thing okay um so some of these people could be trying to win over your love and compassion through spell work or magic but i feel like they they need to proceed with caution with that Okay, so some people are learning and some people are just trying to go the easy way out by doing the quick love spell. <laughs> but that's going to only cause them to be stressed out more. They really got to go through the healing and they really got to acknowledge things about themselves that they must change. Uh, because this person do see you as the gift. They don't want to lose you. Maybe you're healing and you're getting gifts from the universe. Maybe it took some time for you to heal or get to this strength that you have okay um but it's okay it don't matter about the time at least you're doing it at least you're healing okay you're making a vow to yourself or to your children okay you praying over your home you're praying over your kids right you're just healing um very high vibrational here getting the downloads that needs to be you're taking action on the downloads that need to be taking action on okay so somebody could be getting karma for real for like putting spell work on you Okay, maybe they didn't want to take accountability. They was doing like spell work so they wouldn't have to take accountability. So they wouldn't have to come through with this apology. So they wouldn't have to come through with this forgiveness. But the spell work is backfiring on them. Okay, because it's causing a death to a situation. It could even be affecting their health here. Okay, so yeah, they've been somewhere paying for spell work thinking that they were win by... Um, this is crazy like this person is very weird like this person rather do spell work on you than to actually take accountability but uh, they could have been feeling like they were winning at first but now that spell work is backfiring um because you're actually loving yourself way more way harder okay um it could have been something with a child here maybe there was a depth of a child okay and then you had a rainbow baby you had a little boy here okay um so yeah it's it's a lot of good energy going on for you you're healing from the child it could be a business you're getting into a healing business something spiritual it could be a clothing business a baby business a doll business um you could be going to be a mortician here okay it could be anything that you're doing here sagittarius okay and um that is so crazy this man this this man was on the streets 
seeking for spell words um, on the streets. I'm saying on the YouTube streets, okay? This man was on the YouTube streets seeking out for sp some spell word to put on you. So that way things wouldn't end, but it actually made it even worse for them. Cause they still gonna have to take a look at themselves and and um take accountability. They they put spell work on you because they didn't want to take accountability, but they it's gonna backfire to the point they're not gonna it's they're gonna have to take accountability. It's something negative here. That that negative energy is gonna backfire. It's also some stress about a child. I don't know. It could have been a child got hurt on a bike. Somebody's being sad about a child. Or stressed about transportation or their living situation. Okay. Someone someone is stressed about a death. I don't like that energy. <clears throat> Fire sign, King of Wands, sabotaging a connection. There's a crime or a fight, a death, stress, death of a child, a fight about the death of a child. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with this person. Um. I don't know. It could have been somebody is blaming somebody for a death of a child here. Okay, somebody always fights about the death of a child or something. Somebody could have been like, I was in jail. You were supposed to care for the little boy or the little girl. I don't know what's going on with that. But some something about some, somebody needs to apologize about the death of a child. or I don't know here. Okay, um, somebody just, whatever this is, it just somebody just doesn't take accountability or they need to look at themselves because they blaming somebody else about the death of a child here and that is so crazy. Uh, let's see here. And they not even letting up either. They is not letting up. Okay, what's this? That's why somebody moving forward here. Okay, it could be a death of a mother or a, a loss of something here, a big loss. Somebody is blaming somebody for this okay um somebody moving away somebody moving away with their mom okay somebody somebody's mom could live with them okay <clears throat> okay so yeah um somebody moving away with their mama i don't know <laughs> Okay, so somebody, somebody's tired of somebody blaming them about the death of a child. Somebody's just moving away. They choosing to heal. Uh, somebody, um, somebody been doing magic to, to uh, not take accountability to apologize for whatever they've been blaming somebody about or whatever the fucked up shit that they've been doing. Okay, they've been just doing spell work trying to keep somebody, but that spell work gonna backfire and they're gonna have to have they're gonna ask have to actually take accountability, look this person in the face and tell them that they're sorry. Yeah, with the look, I'm telling you and tell them that they're sorry with the page of cups. <laughs> I'm telling you, they gonna have to be. This gonna have to be a real genuine apology because it could have offended somebody here. Whatever was said about this death of a child, or because somebody keeps blaming someone about a death, it could have caused some sort of health issue. Okay, so somebody, <clears throat> somebody needs to apologize because it causes it's causing chaos, and it needs to be a genuine apology. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Okay. I got all the decks here. Okay, well, if anything resonates, let me get the signs. We got Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. Okay, this could be like an older woman. Maybe this is an older woman that was trying to have a child. Okay, and she kept losing children or having miscarriages. Okay, um, somebody could be blaming this person about something like that. I don't know, but somebody needs to apologize here. 
with their aggressive communication and talking about the death of a child. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, if anything resonates, Sash, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Swap Rose is needed. And until next time, bye.